Let's make this rug. my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen with Hooked for Hope. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make my oval shaped rug. If at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and click that bell. That way you get notified whenever I release a brand new video. I try to release a brand new video every single Friday covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects and you're not going to want to miss out. This oval shaped rug is my original pattern. I am currently selling it at this website right here. If you want to pause the video, write that down, go to this website where you can purchase my pattern and print it off and be ready to crochet with me. That would be great. Or you can just click on the link in the description section or I'm going to include a link in the comment section also for easy access where you just click on that link. It will take you directly to the pattern where you can purchase the pattern, print it off and be ready to crochet with me. If purchasing the pattern is not an option for you, I am going to do what I always do, which is make my tutorial with step-by-step -step instructions in the little corner at the bottom of the screen. So you know exactly what I am doing throughout the pattern. Sound good? All right, let's go ahead and dive into what materials you're going to need to make this oval shaped rug. The materials that you're going to need to make your rug will include a size 4 weighted worsted weight or Aran yarn. Uh, you're going to need approximately 837 yards of yarn or 766 meters of yarn or 16.5 ounces of yarn or 469 grams of yarn. So approximately that much yarn will be needed for this project. Uh, you can choose to use uh, any increment of color that you want. So taking that number, uh, that quantity of yarn you will need and figuring out how much of each color you're going to want. If you want more colors or if you want to do the entire rug in one solid color, that is completely up to you. You'll need a crochet hook size H8 or five millimeters. You'll need a pair of scissors and a yarn needle or tapestry needle just to help you weave in your ends at the end of the project. All right, once you have gathered all of your materials, let's go ahead and move right on to how to make your rug. We begin by creating our slip knot. So leaving a long enough tail so we can weave in our end at the end of the project. Attach your crochet hook. Perfect. Okay, make sure that tension on your crochet hook is nice and loose. We begin by chaining 30 chains. So one, two, three, four, five, 27, 28, 29, 30. Great. For row one of our rug, we're going to half double crochet in the second chain from our hook. So looking at our V's, we have one V, two V, yarn over, okay, and half double crochet in that second chain. You're going to put one half double crochet in each chain all the way across this foundation row and then stop at the last chain and I'll show you what to do next. You should end with a total of 29 half double crochets. Two, three, four, 27, 20, eight and 29. Perfect. Okay, in that very last chain, we're actually putting four half double crochets in that chain so that way we can swivel around that corner and start making our way along this side of the foundation row. Okay, so that one half double crochet, the 29th stitch that we just made, actually counts as the first half double crochet for this last chain. Then we'll make three more. So there's the second half double crochet. Third half double crochet and just kind of pull that tail out of the way. And last stitch, 
four half double crochets. And that creates this really smooth loop that gets us right on over to the other side of the foundation row. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put one half double crochet in the other side of each chain all the way across this row and I will meet you at the end to show you what to do next. Okay, so we have come up on the very last stitch here, the very last chain. We already have one half double crochet in that chain. The corner last stitches need four half double crochet. So we only need to make three more to satisfy this last stitch count. One, two, three, and then the fourth one's already made. So we're going to slip stitch on the top of that fourth or first half double crochet to close off this round, round one. Perfect, okay. Let's move on to the second row. For the second row, we're actually going to be making the cable stitch all the way around. You're gonna start by chaining one. So we chain one. We're going to single crochet in that same stitch that we slip stitched into, single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip two stitches, so skip one, skip two, and we're going to single crochet in the third stitch right there, okay? Now turn your work so you're looking at the back of your stitches. You're going to single crochet in the three stitches you just chained. So one single crochet in this chain, one single crochet in this chain, and one single crochet in this third chain. Great. Turn your work back around so you are now looking at the front of your work. You're going to push this loop down so you're able to see the stitches from that first row here. So if I were to pull this up actually, what we're going to do is take your crochet hook, go behind those single crochets, and come out, see that hole in the bottom? Okay, you're gonna come forward and single crochet in this stitch and single crochet in this stitch, okay? So here we are. We're going to go behind these, this arch, come in front of the stitch, insert our crochet hook, and single crochet in that stitch, and then single crochet in the next stitch. And what that does is it pushes that arch forward. We are now going to chain three. So one, two, three. We're going to skip this stitch that already has the bottom of the arch in it. So that's our first skipped space, second skipped space. And in the third space, we're going to put one single crochet. Okay, so when you're looking at this, you'll see, okay, this stitch was taken by the bottom of this arch one empty stitch, and then we just did a single crochet to close this arch on the next stitch. Going to turn our work, so we're looking at the back. Single crochet in each of the three chains that we just made. So one, two, three, turning our work so we are looking at the front of our work now. Okay, we're going to go behind the arch, so behind the arch and through. We're actually going to single crochet in that same stitch that the bottom arch connected to. So we'll move that bottom arch over a little bit so we can single crochet in that stitch. And then we will single crochet in the one skipped stitch. And that pushes that arch forward. 
and that gives you this cable stitch look. Okay, so chain three. One, two, three. Skip the one stitch that has the single crochet of this arch. Skip the next stitch that is open and free. And we're going to single crochet in the third stitch right here. Turn your work over so you were looking at the back of your work. Single crochet in each of the three chains that we just made. One, two, three. Turn our work so we are now looking at the front of our work. We're going to go behind the arch and come through. We're going to single crochet in the exact same stitch that this arch single crocheted into. There we go. And we're going to single crochet, so behind the arch and underneath the tunnel, single crochet in that skipped stitch. And there's our cable stitch. Okay, let's do that again. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip the stitch that our cable stitch single crocheted into right there. So skip that one. Skip the next stitch and in that third stitch, single crochet. Turn your work so you were looking at the back of your work. Single crochet in each of the three chains that we just made. One, two, three. Turn your work so you're looking at the front of the work. Again, going behind the arch through the tunnel and we're going to single crochet in that same stitch that this arch single crocheted into. And we're going to single crochet in the skipped stitch, just like that. And there are our arches. Okay, so go ahead and repeat this pattern all the way to the end here and stop. And I will meet you there to show you how we get around this corner, okay? You're doing great. If you need extra instructions on how to continue doing the cable stitch, just rewind a little bit and review what I did for these four cable stitches because it's done the exact same way. And I will see you very soon. One, two, three, skip one, skip two, and single crochet in the third, turn our work, one single crochet in each of the three chains, one, two, three, turn our work back to the front, so we're looking at it from the front perspective, behind the arch, under the tunnel, single crocheting in the two sti skipped stitches. So single crochet in this stitch that already has a single crochet from the previous arch. And single crochet in the skipped stitch. Perfect, okay, now we are lined right up with the corner. When it comes to the corners, we are unable to skip as many stitches to get around. So let me show you. We're gonna chain three. One, two, three. We're gonna skip the stitch that this arch single crocheted into, and I'm going to single crochet in the next stitch. Turn my work, looking at the back. Okay, single crochet in each of the three chains. One, two, three. Turning my work. And now I only have one, I'm gonna go behind the arch and through the tunnel, and I only have one skipped stitch to single crochet into. One. Chain three. One, two, three. Skip this single crochet that this arch single crochet into, 
and single crochet into the very next open stitch, turning your work, single crochet into each of the three chains that we just made. One, two, three. Turn our work back to the front and taking our crochet hook behind the arch through the tunnel and single crochet in that one skip stitch that was the closing of the previous arch. Right there. Chain three, one, two, three. We are just slowly making our way around. Okay, so we're again going to skip the next stitch that this arch single crocheted into. Single crochet in the very next stitch. Turn our work. Single crochet into each of the three chains. One, two, three, turn our work, going behind the arch through the tunnel, single crochet in the one skipped single crochet. And now we are all turned around to the other side of the row. And then I continue on where I am able to skip two stitches and then single crochet to close my arch. So chaining three, I'm gonna skip the one stitch that this arch closed into, skip the next stitch, and single crochet into the third stitch, turn my work, and single crochet into the three chains, one, two, three, turn my work so I'm looking at the front, behind the arch, through the tunnel, single crochet into the first skipped stitch, and single crochet into the second skipped stitch. And off you go, all the way to the other end, and pause there where I will show you how to get around this corner and connect to close row two. So skip one, skip two, great. One, two, three. All right, I am at my turn, so I'm only gonna skip the one stitch, single crochet into the next stitch. Turn my work, one single crochet in each chain. One, two, three. Turn my work behind the arch and single crochet, one, two, three, skipping only the stitch that has the single crochet from the previous arch. I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch, then turn my work, single crochet in the three chains, one, two, three, turn my work, I'm going to go behind the arch through the tunnel, single crochet in that stitch, skipped stitch. Okay, last chain or last cable stitch here. I'm gonna chain three. One, two, three. And I'm going to skip this stitch right here that my arch went into skipping the stitch that was the original first stitch of my entire row two, and I'm going to go to the first skipped stitch underneath this arch. So when I'm looking at this work, I'm gonna look at that first arch, that first cable stitch that I made, okay? I'm going to put my finger underneath that arch, lift it out of the way. I'm gonna come in front of the arch find that first skipped single crochet, and that is going to be this stitch right here. If you're still having trouble finding that stitch, look for the first single crochet of row two, and it's the very next stitch over. Going to insert your crochet hook into that stitch, pop it 
through with that arch still behind your crochet hook. Yarn over, pull that yarn through. Yarn over, pull through the two for your single crochet. Turn your work around. I'm still pushing those arches backwards. One single crochet in the three chains that I made. Three, turning my work back around to look at the front. And now pushing this arch forward, revealing that very first single crochet that I made in for row two, the very first stitch. It kind of sets itself apart. I push, this is the arch I just made. See how it like bumps up? That is the first single crochet of your entire row two. You're gonna slip stitch on the top of that single crochet stitch and that closes off your row two of your cable stitch. And this is what you'll be looking at, okay? All right, for row three, we're actually going to slip stitch into the next single crochet space. So here we are right now, we just slip stitched to close row two. We're gonna move this cable stitch that's right in front of us. We're gonna pick that up and push it forward, revealing the two single crochets that are behind it, okay? I'm gonna slip stitch into the first single crochet. I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to half double crochet in that same stitch I just slip stitched into, okay? And then half double crochet in the next stitch, the next single crochet stitch. There we go. Perfect. Okay, find your next cable. Push it forward, revealing the two single crochet stitches behind it. You're going to put one half double crochet in each of the single crochet stitches. One, two. Next cable, push it forward, revealing the two single crochets behind. One, Two. So basically what you're doing is you're going to put two half double crochets behind each cable stitch because behind each cable stitch you should find two single crochets and you want to put one half double crochet stitch in each one of those single crochet stitches. Okay, so go ahead and do that and I will meet you at the corner. You should count out a total of 29 of these half double crochets, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, move forward this, this cable. Nine, 10, next cable. 11, 12, 27, 28, and 29, and stop. Okay, the reason why we stop at 29 is because our original foundation row count was 30 with a turning chain, so technically it would be 29 stitches across your foundation row, and we wanna keep that consistent, okay? So we only did 29 half double crochets, before we get to our corner. And in our corner, that's where we are going to increase our half double crochet stitches to help us build upon each row as we grow. Okay, so in the next four stitches, we're going to increase half double crochet. Okay, so next stitch. We are in the corner stitches here. So we are looking for where's the next stitch? That was this one. Oh, here is where the next stitch would be, right there. So I'm gonna put two half double crochets basically in this chain spot. One, two. Okay, next stitch is right here. 
So I'm basically going to move this cable over and in the next chain spot, one, two, okay, moving this cable over inside that single crochet, one, two, and in the next chain spot, one, two. Okay, so that is four half double crochet increases. And then we continue on to the other side of our work where we just push the cable forward and we put one half double crochet in each one of those stitches. Okay, move it forward. One, two, forward, one, two. If you are struggling to find where the stitch placement is behind each cable, the only thing you need to be concerned about is that behind each cable there needs to be two half double crochets, okay? If that will help make this process easier for you, let that be a crutch you can fall on, but be, yes, behind each cable stitch you need to have two half double crochets. Hopefully you're able to find the two single crochets that you made behind the cables, but if not, just know that you need to have two half double crochets behind each cable here. Okay, there should be a total of 29 cables moving down this side. So from our last increase, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Great, and then four half double crochet increases. So one, two, Move that chain, so behind the chain. Three, four, okay, in this chain over spot. Five, six, okay, then move this chain over. We got seven, eight, perfect. Okay, slip stitch into the top of that first half double crochet there to close row three. And we are all done with row three and ready to move on to row four. For row four, we will chain one. We will half double crochet in that same stitch we just slip stitched into. And you will continue making one half double crochet stitch in each stitch for a total of 29 half double crochets. So this was one, two, three, four, 27, 28, and 29. So at 29 we pause because we have now reached the corner of our rug, okay? So we are going to now do our increases. For row four, we're going to increase half double crochet in the first stitch and then one half double crochet in the next stitch, and then two half double crochet, one half double crochet, two, one, two, and one. We're gonna repeat this again four times. So one half double crochet increase, and then one half double crochet. Two, so one, two, and then one, Okay, our third group, one, two, and then one. Okay, and our fourth group, one, two, and then one. Great, okay, we are lined up on this side of our project now. You will go ahead and make 29 half double crochets all the way across, and then we will work on this side to close row four. 
one, two, 27, 28, 29. Okay, now we are at our next increase section. So increase, half double crochet in the first. So one, two, and then one. Okay, second grouping. One, two, and then one. Okay, third grouping. One, two, and then one. And fourth grouping. One, two, and then one. Perfect, guys. Now we will just slip stitch in the top of that first half double crochet to close row four. And this is what it will look like. Great. Okay, so when we dive into row five, I'm going to show you a color change just in case you do want to change colors throughout your work. You can choose to do your color change wherever you want to do your color change, but I just want to make sure that you know how to make your color change, okay? And this is great. Grab your scissors, cut a long enough tail so that way you can weave in your ends attach your secondary color. And how I'm going to attach my secondary color, guys, is I'm gonna take this color, I'm gonna yarn over, pull through the loop for a slip knot, and completely tie this off for a clean color change. So making my next color change, creating a tail long enough to weave in my ends, making a slip knot, attaching my crochet hook, making sure it is loose on my crochet hook. And I'm going to slip stitch into the very same stitch that I slip stitched to close row four. Okay, same exact stitch. That way it keeps you on track, keeps you on count. Okay, there we go. We've attached our new color. We're going to chain one. And at this point, I'm ready for my next row of cable stitches. I like to do my color changes right as I begin my next row of cable stitches because it's really, really clean with the 3D effect, the texture effect, really taking that color change and making it really smooth. So let me go back. Okay, we slip stitched to attach the yarn. We chained one. We're going to single crochet in that same exact stitch that we just slip stitched into. Great. Chain three. One, two, three. Okay, skip two stitches. So skip one, skip two. There we go. Single crochet in the third. Turn our work. So we're looking at the back of the work. Here's what the back looks like. Single crochet in each of the three chains. One, two, three. Turn our work going behind the arch through the tunnel, we're going to single crochet in the two skipped stitches. One, two. And then we're gonna chain three. One, two, three. Skipping two stitches or skipping this stitch where the arch connected, skipping the next stitch and single crocheting in the third, turning our work so we can face the back of our work. One single crochet in each chain. One, two, three. Turning our work so we're facing the front. Great. Behind the arch through the tunnel. And these two stitches right here, I'm going to put one single crochet in the same stitch that the other arch single crocheted into, and putting one single crochet in the skipped stitch. All right, so basically repeating what we did in the previous row, making a cable stitch, that's just a cable stitch. Go ahead and continue making your cable stitches up to this corner, and then I will show you how we get around this corner for row five. Okay, coming upon this next corner, you are just going to continue the pattern all the way around. So one, two, three, one, two, three. We do not need to adjust our cable stitches for any other row other than that second row 
because there is now enough room for those cables to actually get around, okay? So just continue making your cables as you do throughout the entire project. Nothing special around your corners. Just wanted to show you that in case you had any questions. And it helps it look really smooth too. All right, so observing this corner, we just do our cable stitch corners the exact same way we would do our cable stitch long side all the way around. And that's how you are going to approach your cable stitches from now on. Whenever we get to a cable stitch row, you're just going to continue making one cable stitch after another as you normally would all the way around. And then we will connect at the end to close off row five. Okay, and that's how you would do any row for cable stitches here on out. Okay, the only thing that's really going to change are your half double crochet rows because your half double crochet rows are going to be where you do your increases on the on the sides here. That's the only place you're going to find your increases. Okay, so go ahead and finish your cable stitches all the way around and I will help you close row five and then we will move into row six. Three, one, and so this is going to count as two. Okay, so we have made it to our last cable stitch. So we're going to skip, obviously, the stitch that this cable stitch single crocheted into. But then the next stitch is technically going to be the very first stitch that we single crocheted in to begin row five. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip over to this very first single crochet. So I'm going to take this cable, I'm going to push it up out of the way. I'm going to take this or take my crochet hook, insert it into that stitch, pop it out in front of my fingernail, yarn over, pull through and single crochet, turning my work, keeping that, that cable stitch pushed out of the way, going to single crochet in each one of my chains, one, two, three. Okay, turn me, turning my work back around so I can see the front. Okay, behind the arch through the tunnel. So I'm going to single crochet in that same stitch that this arch connected to. So there's one. And then the second stitch would just be a slip stitch into that very first single crochet to close row five. Great, okay, to begin row six, whenever we are addressing a row right after the cable stitch row, we are going to need to slip stitch into the work a little bit to recenter ourselves so that way the work doesn't shift, okay? We just slip stitch to close row five and actually one more stitch so I'm putting myself on the other side of this cable. All this will be written out for you in the pattern or if you wanna take a screenshot, just to remind yourself, whenever we work a row right after the cable stitch, we need to adjust. Okay, so you're gonna chain one, a half double crochet in that same stitch that we just slip stitched into, one, and we're gonna make a grand total of 29 half double crochets along this side to get to this corner, okay? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, 28, and 29. Okay, so the repeat pattern for this corner is going to be increase half double crochet and then one half double crochet, one half double crochet, and then repeat a total of four times. So let's do that together. So this was our 29th half double crochet. Now we're going to make two half double crochets, one, two, in the same stitch, 
and then one, one. Okay, so that was our first grouping. So second grouping is two half double crochet, one, two, and then one, and one. Okay, third grouping, two half double crochets, and then one, and one, and fourth grouping, two half double crochets, one, two, and then one, and one. Perfect, okay, that brings us to the other side of the work. Now we're going to make 29 half double crochets along this side to get to our other corner. So here we go. Eight and 29, great, we are ready for our increases. So we're going to make two half double crochets one, two, and then one, and one. So that was group one. For group two, one, two, and then one, one. Group three, one, two, one, one, group four, one, two, and then one, and one. Perfect, slip stitch in the top of the first half double crochet to close off row six. Okay, I ran out of having enough yarn, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to yarn over and pull through to create a slip knot. Great, and I'll just cut that down because I don't need that tail to be so long. And I will attach my my next color or a different color, or if you want the same color. Okay, long enough tail to weave in ends, attach to crochet hook. Okay, going to slip stitch into the same exact stitch that I closed. Slip stitch right there there, great, chaining one. So even if you didn't change colors, you just slip stitch to close row six, you're still just going to slip stitch, then chain one, and half double crochet in that same stitch that we slip stitched into. Okay, total of 29 half double crochets along this side until we get to the corner. So go ahead and make your 29 and I'll meet you over here to show you what to do next. One, two, 28, 29, great. For round seven, what we are going to do is we are going to do two half double crochets, one, two, and then half double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three. So that was grouping one. Grouping two, increase half double crochet, and then one, two, three, okay? Grouping number three, one, two, and one, two, three, and grouping number four, one, two, and then one, two, three, great, okay? So we have our increases taken care of. So we worked this way around our work and we are ready to do our 29 half double crochets along this side. So here we go. One, two, 28, 29. Okay, we are ready for our increase sections. So for section one, we're putting an increase half double crochet. So one, two, and then one, two, three. Okay, section two, one, two, one, two, three. Okay, section three, 
one, two, one, two, three, and section four. One, two, and then one, two, three. Beautiful. We met right up with slip stitching into the first half double crochet to close row seven off. Perfect. So this is what we're looking at, guys. This is what we got. So how I work this pattern is I do row one is half double crochets. Row two is cable stitch. Row three, row four, three, four, half double crochets, five, cable stitch. Row six and seven, half double crochets. Row eight, cable stitch. So I'll put two rows of half double crochets between each of my cable stitch rows is what I'm trying to get at right here. Okay, so working row eight right now, we're working a cable stitch row. And again, when we work cable stitches, we are just making one cable stitch all the way around, nothing special. It is our half double crochet rows that have the increases in them. So for row eight, chaining one, single crocheting in that same stitch that we just slip stitched into, chaining three, one, two, three, skipping two, one, two, and single crochet in the third. Okay, again, we're flipping our work, looking at the back of our work. Here's what the back should look like. Okay, one single crochet in each of the three chains. One, two, three, right there. Flipping our work to the front, behind the arch, through the tunnel, Okay, single crocheting in the two skipped stitches. So one, two. Okay, so then again, like I said, just continue to work that cable stitch all the way around. If you need a reference, just refer back to the fifth row, or row five, where we did this cable stitch row. It's done the exact same way, okay? So continue across with this cable stitch, and I will meet you all the way around. I will meet you right here where we close row eight and move on to row nine, okay? You're doing fantastic. Keep up the great work. Okay, so I changed the background for you since I noticed that what I was using for my table topper was actually making it so it was difficult to see these stitches here. So I'm hoping that this makes it a lot easier for you to see what I am doing. Okay, we made it to the very last stitch, last cable stitch to close row eight. One, two, three. Okay, skipping this stitch that this cable stitch connected to. This stitch right here is going to be where our first single crochet was of row eight. So I'm actually going to go to that very first cable stitch, very first cable stitch, look for the first skipped stitch that we single crocheted into, and I'm going to insert my crochet hook into that stitch and then pop it forward above my nail while I'm holding this cable stitch back, okay? Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two to make a single crochet stitch. Flipping the work over, one single crochet stitch in each of the three chains I just made. One, two, three flip the work back over. I'm going to go behind the arch through the tunnel. I'm going to put one single crochet in the same stitch that this last arch single crocheted stitched into. And then I'm going to slip stitch into that single crochet stitch that began row eight. Okay, and that closes off row eight for me. All closed. Perfect. Okay, we're actually, whenever we do, whenever we do a cable stitch row, we need to align ourselves again. So we're going to actually slip stitch into the next stitch over, just one. There we go. And now we are all set up to work round nine. 
for round nine, we're doing half double crochets. So chain one, half double crochet in that same stitch we just slip stitched into, and half double crochet in the next, okay? So one, two, three, four, 28, 29. Okay, so for round or for row nine, how we're getting around this section is we are doing a repeat of increase, half double crochet. So one, two, and then one half double crochet in the next four stitches. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so that was section one. Section two is going to be increase, half double crochet. So one, two, and then one half double crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, four. Okay, section three. One, two, one, two, three, four, okay, and section four. One, two, one, two, three, and four. Great, we just made our way around this side. We're now set up to do 29 half double crochets along this side and then do our next increases to close row nine of our rug. Okay, so when we are looking at our half double crochets of each row, all of our increases are going to happen in our half double crochet rows, okay? So for row two, we had a cable stitch Row three at the corner, we did four, in four stitches, we had an increase half double crochet. So we did increase half double crochet, which is two, then increase half double crochet, then increase half double crochet, and increase half double crochet. That was row three. In row four, we did increase half double crochet, and then one, and then increase half double crochet, one. Okay, then we had row five, which was a row of cable stitches. Row six was increase half double crochet and then two, one, one, then increase half double crochet and then one, one, okay? Row seven, we did increase half double crochet and then three singles, one, two, three, then increase half double crochet and then one, two, three. Row eight was cable stitches. Row nine was increase half double crochet and then four, then increase half double crochet, four. So in row 10, it will be increase half double crochet and then five, then increase half double crochet and then five. And you're going to increase the number between your increase half double crochets by one stitch for every half double crochet row. The pattern really lays everything out for you. In the pattern, it will tell you, so in row eight, you will end with 49 cables, okay? In row five, you will end with 41 cables, okay? It'll tell you, okay, you are now hitting row 10. So in row 10, when you get to the corner, increase half double crochet and then five half double crochets, okay? So if you don't wanna get the pattern, just recognize what's happening, what's going on. But if you do get the pattern, it really helps you to stay on track where you can just kind of like shuffle things and know exactly where you are. You can stop whenever you want to stop. I went until I hit, let's see, what row did I end up hitting? I went all the way through. I stopped at row 37. Okay, so continue working this. And you make this as big as you want or as small as you want. Be mindful after every cable stitch row, you are gonna to wanna to slip stitch into the work to align yourself to make that oval shape more even. But other than that, I think you got it. I think you have everything you need to continue this amazing oval shape rug. I'm so excited. All right, when you get to the point where you are done with your rug, 
you're just going to cut off your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to weave in your ends. Going to yarn over, pull through, and pull tight, and that's your slip knot. And your rug is done. The only thing you have to do is come to the back. Now to the back, you're going to grab your yarn needle or tapestry needle, okay? You're going to take a section. So let's go ahead and for my example, I'm going to do this strand right here. Pull it through. Okay, so I really found that I liked doing the weaving of the ends for this particular project. And this is what I do. If you don't want to do it this way, I do have a video on a couple different what techniques that you can use to weave in your ends if the way that you're using just isn't working for you. There's some really cool options that you really should check out. I'll leave a link right here at the top. If you click there, it'll take you to my video called weaving ends or joining yarn and weaving ends. And it's pretty awesome. So in this example though, I'm gonna show me weaving in my ends here. So I'm just going to go into the work following the color scheme, you know, keeping color to color, and I'm going to weave in through the yarn. And I'm not just going to weave in like underneath a strand of yarn and over, I'm gonna go in the middle of yarns. I'm gonna go right in the middle of some of these plies and just picking up little bits all over the place because by going in the middle of the yarn, it really secures your yarn down. Instead of just weaving in and out, in and out, in and out, that's easily gonna come undone. That's no good, we don't want that. Okay, and then I'm gonna go all over the place. I am not going to be just one, a one direction weaver here. I'm going to be like all over the place because I have had such bad luck with my ends not staying woven. But I have noticed that if I just start like going in all directions in between yarns, that it stays pretty awesome. So I just wanted to throw that out there for all of you who do love to weave in your ends. And this is going to just probably make you super happy that I am weaving in my ends right now. And when you get to a certain point, you don't have to do the whole strand, just enough zigzagging back and forth through the project until you feel like it is super secure and then cut your yarn and boom it's done all done and you move on to your next strand and again keep color to color that way it camouflages in blends very well and you can't see anything it looks great okay once you've woven in all of your ends your rug is done congratulations i really hope you love it I hope you had a lot of fun making your rug. If you did, you might also really enjoy these videos right here. Also check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for spending time with me today, crocheting with me today. I always love crocheting with you. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you with my next video. Bye guys.